TB romantic body type is Jessica Rabbit cartoon character type of a woman. And I would like to remind those who came to my channel searching for information about types according to David Kibbe's theory that my typing is based on the works of David and his book Metamorphosis, but may and will definitely differ from the original interpretation and the very source. This is because I have practiced all the information in my work with my clients, so it is based on my own practical stylistic experience and knowledge as a professional artist, my view and feel of the person and my perception of external and internal factors such as the entire essence of the personality. I also ask you to include your common senses both to this and any other information given to you. So, here I go, I'm going to take Ibi's original 13 types and discuss them as I see them. A romantic body type woman is usually associated with an ethereal, delicate blonde with a petite curvy body. David Kibi had a completely different vision on that. According to his concept, a representative romantic type basically has the most feminine body structure. Full bosom, narrow waist and rounded hips are the most characteristic romantic features, regardless of weight or height. The arms around it, the bust is not always the same as that of the dramatic or soft dramatic body type, although it is always large. The hips and buttocks are more rounded and the waist is more clearly defined. Let's take a look at the figures of Marilyn Monroe, the romantic type, and Sophia Loren, the soft dramatic. In addition to the finer body structure, Marilyn's narrow, delicate hands are clearly visible, a strong dominance of the female yin element, both in the structure of the body and the bone structure. Sophia Loren has long, well-defined collarbone. Her bone structure is dominated by the male element yang. Romantic type is yin bone structure, the divine female features. Romantic tends to be shorter than soft dramatic type, for example. Romantic figure, distinctive features. Height from low to medium, on average that's up to 167 centimeters. Short vertical lines, rounded shapes make a romantic woman appear lower than she actually is. The silhouette type is an hourglass, regardless of the ratio of weight and height. This is not an hourglass with straight, wide arms as in the case with soft dramatic. Pear shape is also possible here. Shoulders, rounded, often strong. Arms and legs rather short in relation to height and body. Hands and feet small and thin, narrow or could be wide. Bust large or medium. Waist narrow, pronounced, emphasized. Hips slim, rounded, clear, clearly visible from the waist. Forearms short, full, slightly rounded, even with, with low weight. The skeleton of a romantic is delicate miniature. Bones are also delicate, maybe slightly wide, but one must remember that looking at a girl of a romantic type, it would never occur to her to say that she has a bony build or structure of the face. She is quite delicate. Romantics almost always have a tendency to gain weight. The figure of a romantic body type, as a rule, resembles an hourglass in the shape or a pear type. Lush breasts and hips and, of course, a thin waist is sure to be present here. Romantic face features. The lower part of the face is thin with soft lines, round or slightly tapered, sometimes white, like Salma Hayek, for example. Nose delicately defined soft lines, often broad, cheeks thin and rounded, eyes large, medium, often round shape, lips full or very full, cheeks slightly rounded. Everything in the appearance of romantic types is rounded, the oval of the face, eyes, curvaceous body shapes are rounded. David Kibbe called this type Dream Spinner Romantics are the embodiment of pure yin, the divine female, delicate, round and curvy. 
The facial features of the romantic type appear rounded and curvy, large rounded eyes, full lips, lushy cheeks, slightly wide, neat nose. Romantic body type style. The main word for romantic type is softness. Particular attention should be paid to the forms, and this is a fundamental point here. The shape should be round with soft edges. Always accentuate your silhouette, the hourglass body shape. Don't try to pack your curves into tight and straight lines. This will always look bad on you. Circles, spirals and intricate flowing prints are a direct expression of your extreme yin, the divine female. The silhouette should be fluid and loose to showcase your curvaceous side. As I noted already, the accentuated waist is an important detail, as is the presence of soft draperies. Choose fabrics that are easy to drape. Soft and pliable fabrics are also among the favorites for the romantic body type. And don't forget the soft textures. All details should be soft, intricate and feminine, with an emphasis on framing your face. Large bows, ruffles, lace are always a good choice, but they, but they should be feminine and not childish. Necklines should be soft, draped with curled ed edges. Heavily decorated necklines will also look great on you. The shoulders should be gently arched without sharp edges like dramatics. The waist should always be emphasized with soft gathers, pleats, lightweight and flexible straps to give an accent. Buckles should always be intricate in detail and elegant feminine. You need to combine different elements of your clothes so as not to disturb the overall fluidity of the fabric and the softness of the look. Mix colors and textures, but avoid any harsh contrast between the top and the bottom. Jackets and blazers. They should always be fitted. Soft, well fitting with a belt at the waist or a strap. When choosing a jacket or a blazer, please pay attention to the lapels. They should be rounded. A lapelless model would also be a good choice. Draperies will be suitable, interesting accent here. Skirts. Soft ruffles at the waist. Uneven hem is possible. Your base skirt is a tulip skirt. All skirts widening to the bottom are a great option. Length with an uneven hem to the middle of the calf and up to the knee. This is a tulip skirt with a straight hemline. Pants should always be soft and show your curves in the right light. They should be gently tucked up at the waist, drawing attention to the waist. Blouses. Soft, draped, intricate, interesting flounces and rounded cuts. Antique style blouses are good for romantics. Sweaters. Soft, fluffy knit, plush or short length with emphasis on the waist. Dresses. The form of dresses should always be feminine and fluid. The waist is emphasized. It can be exquisitely decorated with a fluffy skirt or a sunskirt. Jewelry should always be delicate and bright with intricate and luxurious details. Rounded shapes, curves, spirals, shining metals, crystals, stones, glass, polished metal is great for you. The appearance of the hair should be very well groomed. Hairstyles gently frame the face, avoid the harshness. Curls like Victoria's Secret model style will look good on you. Hair color should be rich and luxurious. Light and strengths are possible, but without strong contrast, especially if you are a brunette. Makeup should always be soft and watercolor-like. Soft colors like pink, peach, reddish on the cheeks and lips will help create a desired impression. Eye makeup should be soft with a little shine, even at the daytime. Evening makeup can be with lots of glitters. Thank you so much for staying here with me and I hope you like this information and if you did, please don't forget to subscribe, put a like and let me know what you think in the comments down below. And see you in the next episode.